So I recently studied with one of the jazz and improvisational master guitarists, Julian Lodge. And this video is part of a series about what I learned from Julian. So please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any of these master tips. Now, if you want to know about the classes I took and more about Julian's career, watch this. Now, today's video is all about getting unblocked and three simple but powerful exercises that Julian recommends. They're working for me. Let me show them to you and then you can tell me what they do for you. So the whole idea of getting unblocked is interesting. Julian has a unique perspective. He says there are no blocks to break through just a lack of experience. So he says to remind yourself that playing guitar shouldn't be hard, it should be fun. So at the heart of that is finding ways to play what you want with less physical strain and discomfort. Julian demonstrated some cool ways to expand your musical palette, quite a bit of it focused on your left hand, and these techniques are gonna automatically break you out of ruts. You know, for example, when you find yourself playing the same chords or the same lead lines over and over. When you watch Julian, there are times when he stays in a certain area of the neck, but then suddenly he'll shoot out of it and go way up or down the neck to grab something that he wants to express. fantastic to have that kind of freedom, but it definitely takes practice. So how are you going to start getting more comfortable using the whole neck like Julian does? Well, one way is a simple range exercise that kind of helps your brain and your hand map distances along the fretboard. So the feel of your hand moving between intervals becomes second nature. So he says to start with your middle finger at the first fret and then switch to your index finger. Keep coming back to the middle finger at the first fret, but then switch to your index finger at the next higher fret. It's okay if you slide, it's fine, but you're going basically up to two, three, four, five, six, etc. You can start by watching your fingers, but eventually you're going to want to look away. So try that. See, you're gonna make mistakes, right? But don't worry, because after a while, even if you do it a few minutes a day, you're gonna start nailing it. The only adjustment you'll ever need to make is if you change to a guitar with a different scale length. This range building exercise really builds confidence and it works for single notes and for chords. And the results are kind of similar to the blindfold technique I explained in this video. Okay, so what if you're just stuck and you find yourself playing the same lead lines and patterns over and over? Julian had some unexpected advice. He said to exhaust yourself. So he says, put on a backing track, loop it, and solo over it for, let's say, 90 minutes. So here's what you can expect to happen. For the first five or 10 minutes, you're gonna rely on all your usual crutches, right? The scales that you really know. But then boredom forces you to take some risks and you're gonna have to find new ways to express yourself. So you need to go ahead and make tons of mistakes and, and then just start feeling your way out of those mistakes into new patterns and movements and sounds. So the whole idea of playing to exhaustion is that there's so much physical memory and patterns and scales that they're kind of like scar tissue. You know, you need to push yourself to break that down. So exhaustion helps with lead guitar ruts, but what about rhythm guitar ruts and endlessly using the same chord shapes and patterns? You know, how can we climb out of those? Try playing spider chords. You can start with any standard chord. You know, here's C at the third fret. Now move any finger up or down a half step 
and play the resulting chord. And by the way, you don't have to play all six strings. You can play three note chords, four note chords, whatever works for you. each new hand shape and really listen to and get comfortable with each new chord. So it's really an exercise for your fingers and your ears. But just keep trying new chords until you discover something new that you like and then add that chord to your vocabulary. You can work it into an established song, something you already play, or maybe even write a new song that uses your new chord and cements it as one of your tools. All right, there you go. Three ways to unblock your guitar playing and get out of ruts, thanks to the one and only Julian Lodge. So if you missed part one, watch it here or visit guitardiscoveries.com for over 200 videos. They're gonna improve your guitar playing, your singing, your songwriting, and your recording skills. Thanks so much for watching.